Is it finally time for a foldable smartphone? With the Z Fold 6, Samsung attempts to make a compelling case for joining the folding bandwagon. At first appearance, this device appears to be very similar to its predecessor. However, there are significant advancements. It's hard to think the Z Fold series is now six years old, but my first impressions of the latest shape-shifting smartphone demonstrated how far the South Korean company has come, and how much more work is still to be done before reaching the promised land of mass acceptance. Anna was on a quest with the Magic V2, which was to create a huge foldable that is no larger than a high-end phone in the oh-so-backward bar form factor. With a V2 in hand, we can readily claim they succeeded. However, we are pleased to see a sequel arise so soon to compete with the newer Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Google Pixel Fold, as well as anticipated foldables such as the OnePlus Open. We're especially pleased to see a sequel that manages to be larger than its predecessors while remaining lighter and smaller. We still have questions regarding the Magic V2's user experience outside of the hardware, but these will only be partially answered until we get to try the final version. So for now, here are our initial impressions of the Honor Magic V2. The Z Fold 6 costs $1,899 for a model with 256 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM. That is $100 higher than the Z Fold 5 starting pricing. The good news is that if you pre-order the Z Fold 6 from Samsung, you may upgrade to the next storage tier at the same price. So you can buy 512 gigs for the same price as the 256 gigs variant. However, Honor regrets the high cost of foldables. For comparison, the Magic V2 costs $1,330.00, which is $569.99 less than the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Google Pixel Fold. That gives us optimism that Honor will keep the Magic V2 reasonably priced for a foldable device. It is already accessible in China, but an IFA presentation indicates that it will be released globally soon. The Magic V2 is unlikely to make it to the United States, so apologies to those hoping for another Samsung and Google Challenger. When folded, the Z Fold 6 measures 6.04 by 2.68 by 0.48 inches, which is shorter, narrower, and thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 5's dimensions of 6.1 by 2.64 by 0.53 inches. When unfolded, the Z Fold 6 measures 6.04 by 5.22 by 0.22 inches, compared to 6.1 by 5.11 by 0.24 inches for the previous fold. I'm not saying the bulk is gone, but I'd be far more likely to keep the Z Fold 6 in my front pocket. The Z Fold 6 weighs 8.4 ounces, so it will be lighter in your pocket. The straight edge design appears sleek, however, the corner was a little uncomfortable in my hand with the phone closed. On the other hand, the Magic 2's likely lower than average pricing does not imply that you are receiving an unrefined product from Honor. The Magic V2 has some pretty outstanding engineering, which allows the phone to be only 4.7mm thick when open and 9.9mm when folded. The Magic V2 is also lighter than the Z Fold 6 at only 231 grams. It's lighter than the non-folding Galaxy S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro Max as evidenced by simply holding both phones in your hand. Honor claims that a novel hinge design composed of titanium and 3D printed elements contributes to this success. Furthermore, the new hinge is more durable. Honor claims the Magic V2 can withstand 400,000 folds, which is twice as many as Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 5. That is not to imply that the Z Fold 5 cannot reach 400 folds. Nevertheless, it is not assured. Samsung increased the cover display size of the Z Fold 6 from 6.2 to 6.3, but the Magic V2 is this bigger at 6.43, while also making the panel wider. It's not a huge adjustment, but it's a pleasant one, and the resulting screen is easier to text on with two hands. You can even run apps on the cover display without everything being too crowded. However, the Pixel Fold's front screen is significantly wider. The inside features a 7.6-inch OLED display with a peak brightness of 2,600 nits. That's the same size as previously, but a significant increase above the 2,500 nits on the Magic V2. Both panels are dynamic, with refresh rates ranging from 1 to 120 Hz, so expect fluid animations and smooth scrolling. Honor has not modified the internal display from the Honor Magic VS. It is still a huge 7.9-inch OLED panel. 
The exterior display is somewhat different, measuring 6.43 inches versus 7.6 inches on the Z Fold 6, but the difference is not significant. Furthermore, the Honor Magic V2 remains one of the largest foldables on the market today, with only the Z Fold 6 potentially matching or surpassing it. Both of the Magic V2's displays, like the Honor Magic 5 Pro and Honor 90, support 3840 Hz dimming. Honor claims that this helps protect your eyes from strain over long hours of use, but I couldn't confirm this from my limited experience with the Magic V2. You will not be impressed by the Galaxy Z Fold 6's camera. The only noteworthy difference from last year's model is that Samsung chose a new 12-megapixel ultra-wide sensor that is intended to improve low-light performance. I didn't have a chance to try it out during our hands-on, but it produced vibrant and sharp interior shots. You'll still get a 50-megapixel main wide camera and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom. For $1,899, I would like to see Samsung increase the zoom to at least 5x. But at least, the hybrid zoom can go up to 30x. And the clarity is excellent enough that I could read text on a book cover from across the room. Even while it has the same 4 megapixel sensor as previously, I found that selfies taken from the under display camera where the main screen produced nice looking photos in good lighting circumstances. But you'll probably want to go with a 10 megapixel front facing camera. As with prior Z Fold phones, the rear camera selfie mode allows you to use the back cameras to capture photographs. Honor added a new 50 megapixel main camera on the Magic V2, as well as a 20 MP telephoto camera with 2.5x optical zoom to replace the Magic Vest 8 megapixel 3x sensor. The 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, as well as the 16 megapixel selfie cameras on the front and inside, are identical. Honor has never struggled with camera hardware on its phones, but its software processing can fall short of that of competitors. The sample images I took, but couldn't take with me, look good on the day, but I'll need to perform a thorough comparison to know for certain if the Honor Magic V2 cameras can compete with the strong cameras on the competing Samsung and Google foldables. Samsung is determined to be the king of AI foldables, combining Galaxy AI characteristics with Google Gemini, and while some of the things I tested were useful, others made me squirm. On the plus side, the interpretation software makes it quite simple to communicate with someone who speaks a different language. The interpreter uses both the main and cover displays simultaneously to improve the translating experience. During a brief demonstration, I was astonished by how rapidly the other speaker's remarks were translated into Spanish on the cover screen. There's also a listening mode, which is useful for things like lectures. We'll be doing complete benchmark tests on the Z Fold 6, but based on my brief hands-on experience, this phone is fast. In Asphalt 9, I experienced silky smooth performance while racing around the city. Even when I flipped off a ramp and sparks flew, the frame rates appeared to be good. I also tested running apps side by side, and the multitasking performance was good. However, I like the OnePlus Open's multitasking experience, which allows you to run more programs at once on screen and save more presets for your favorite apps. The Magic V2 is powered by a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU and 16 gigs of RAM, with storage options ranging from 256 gigs to one terabytes. Honor has 8 Gen 2 Samsung Galaxy hardware, the latter is the overclocked version, but Honor's phone has far more RAM than the Z Fold 5 or Pixel Fold, not this Fold 6. That should be good news for multitasking if Honor adds some additional features to the OS to take advantage of it. However, the phone maker made no mention of this during its presentation, and I found no evidence of it when using the phone. The Honor Magic V2 has a combined battery capacity of 5000 milliamps and 66 watt charging, which should allow it to last longer and charge faster than the Z Fold 6 or Google Pixel Fold. Honor claims that with this powerful battery, the Magic V2 will last longer on a single charge than even the iPhone 14 Pro Max, whether folded or unfold. Honor is also demonstrating greater technological prowess here by using a silicon carbon battery rather than a typical lithium ion one. Silicon carbon batteries can provide higher energy density, which means more million powers in less area. Honor let us test one of these batteries alongside the phone, and we discovered it is genuinely as thin as a credit card. I would have tried to fit it in my wallet if I hadn't been closely monitored by its personnel during the briefing. The bad news is that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has the same 4,400 mAh battery as the Z Fold 5. 
I guess that is where the magic for two wins, the good news, is that we should expect longer endurance thanks to the more efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Fold 6 is excellent but not spectacular with a battery test lasting 10 hours and 55 minutes and involves surfing the web at 150 nits of screen brightness over 5G. Our greatest phone battery life list includes handsets that last at least 11.5 hours. And we expect the Z Fold 6 will surpass that mark. Unfortunately, the Z Fold 6 only supports only 25 watt wide charging. Seriously, it's been far too many years at the same slow pace. For example, the OnePlus Open allows 67 watt, charging almost equivalent to the 66 watt of Magic V2. Disappointing for Samsung. So share your thoughts in the comment section. See you in my next video. Goodbye.